Hey, what up, Z Clan and everybody else? How you doing? Welcome to my Fallout 76 Atom Shop notification video. In this video, I cover the items that are leaving or some special offer is ending within the next 24 hours. Also, I'm adding one more uh, step, which is uh, showing you the easiest daily challenges that you can do in order to claim some atoms. So, in this one, I'll show you, I think, three, uh, and you will be able to claim 40 atoms really quickly. I did that within. 30 minutes. So I'll show you that after the item shop display. All right. This is something new, so please some feedback if you want to, if you want me to keep this up. All right. This is very important. All right. So thanks a lot, and let's navigate to the item shop. All right. Let's see what we got. Atomic shop. I think it's a skin. If I remember correctly, so leaving soon. This is all leaving on Monday. This is where we want to go, and this is the Free States Generator set. And uh, <laughs> well, as you can see, I already commented a lot of times these generators and so on. I personally not gonna go for it. That's a hundred percent. I don't. I don't see the reason. I don't. I don't I pretty much never make them. I know that if you're making a specific camp, uh, like more dedicated to free states, then maybe it is a good idea to get. But overall, 350 for uh, well, I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna skip out on the pricing because you know everybody has his own yes nos on the pricing part part. All right, so that's pretty much it for the item shop. I cannot show it to you because I don't own it. Now let's navigate to the daily challenges and before we do that let's complete one final challenge that I have to do and I gotta go to the healing section and make the blood type. Poof. Bingo! 10 atoms! What's up? Alright so there are three challenges that are pretty simple to do and they are challenges daily and by the way I'm also gonna cover the weekly ones because and I'm gonna do it the same way on Tuesday's videos for you if you say that this will be okay with the Adam shop video so I don't spam you with two videos or three videos you know I don't want to spam you with that so that's why I decided to combine them so the easiest ones is to craft the healing items uh, you can craft the black pack uh, dilute it right away diluted stim pack uh, glowing black pack and uh, the standard right away these are like the easiest for me to craft like it's very easy because I know where to find all the components uh, for diluted stim pack or right away that is very straight to the point we'll get to the crafting station right now I'll show you what I mean and if I'll show you also where you can find uh, the missing ingredients kill anglers in the mire. So anglers in the mire. This is this location here. That's the whole mire thing. Uh, you can find anglers in the treehouse uh, village. I found two or three over here. Uh, then uh, you can go to the shallows and you'll find another two or three dudes over here. If you can, just server hop and you'll definitely be able to cover those. There are many other locations like you can capture this workshop it sometimes spawns them you can capture this workshop it sometimes spawns them and so on so and this one as well in the mire so you can capture all these and you get it done with new problemos then the next challenge is uh, bra bra bra. well use the impacts in BR if you want to get a per card I'm not gonna do I don't do BR so uh, well that's winter a uh, nuclear winter uh, Battle Royale. I, I haven't been playing it for months now because I'm waiting for them to develop some anti-cheating systems before I get to, to play. I don't want to get frustrated. So, uh, the next easy one is scrap pre-war money. Pre-war money can be found all over the place. And on the dead corpses uh, of ex-people that used to live this land <laughs> who are coming back at the next DLC. <laughs> Uh, you can find them in uh, cash cashiers, this uh, sort of machines. Uh, where I got mine is in the Harper's Ferry. Uh, there's a lot of bodies over there, so you, it's very easy to find them as well. And next to the church, there's like three or four dead bodies. They give you usually pre-war money. Uh, you can find some in White, uh, yeah, in White Springs in the cabins. 
and you can definitely find some here in Flatwoods if nobody looted that place. Usually it's low looted, but if you go Flatwoods, you'll find it. I'll just go travel and, I mean, finding Kriwa money is never a problem, so. If you're if you have a, about an hour or two hours to play, I'm pretty sure you'll find ten pre-war money. Trust me. <laughs> so I found these the easiest uh, from all of them. So in in total, you will earn forty atoms. Then the next one is level up three times. <laughs> so ten atoms. I play around one hour, maybe two hours, sometimes three hours, if I manage to, and it is already pretty hard for my level to level up on 370 now and complete event one violent night with musical instrument I believe but what they mean by that is a musical instrument weapon like guitar sword or uh, something musical or me I might be wrong I never did this one or drunk so drunk I think is the easiest one just before the event ends just take a shot of a beer and you'll be good <laughs> uh, but once again uh, this event hasn't been spawning for me for quite a, quite some time now. Usually I used to go to that event a lot. With all these notifications, I don't bother going to these events no more because everybody's there and everybody is greedy for the three star and it is shit to kill. And so I don't waste my time over there and just don't want to go there. Uh, so yeah. And uh, yeah, I pretty much covered them all. Now for the weeklies. With the weeklies, the easiest ones are take photos in Fizurs. Man, I can't pronounce these things. You need five different locations. They're very easy to find. If you navigate to Batoga, for instance, there are a lot of them. So one, two, then you have three, then I took one over here, four, and I took one over here, five. So there you go. And of course, there are way more of them. There's another one, another one. So you just need to visit each one of them, kill the Scorch Bees, take down the Scorch, plus you will do a little plus bonus to the community challenge. <laughs> Which by the way, I wanted to share how many did we kill, but unfortunately that page is not working. It just shows the loading side and doesn't show the results on how many Scorch we took down already. Uh, yesterday it was 2 million, so that was cool. So then we go to the weekly once again. Um, complete 10 quest while in a group so you can be in a group and uh, you can spread out and for example I used to spread out and quickly do the the easy the quickly events by capturing uh, workshops they trigger an event instantly and plus I jump to every prime event so I did it really quickly so you don't really have to both be on the same event you can still split up so but if for example your friend does the event and you're you're not there you're not gonna get the bonus because you're not doing the event personally so if you're personally doing an event and but your friend is elsewhere farming three stars for instance and you complete the event only you get uh, plus one to this challenge and your friend doesn't so I have that in mind uh, deal critical uh, critical hits to the enemies so this one is basically you need to go into VATS so you need to VATS an enemy I don't think we have an enemy here nowhere so basically that one is you VATS in my in my case I hold space and I initiate criticals this one was the easiest from all so I just found uh, some scorched piece took my low level auto uh, auto gun and just blasted it and basically in like less than five minutes challenge was completed so I would say that uh, initiating 50 criticals is the easiest from all of them. Then I would say this one uh, would be second easy and this one would be third easy. Now killing Scorched I believe this is bugged because I killed the Scorched Beast, I killed the Scorched, then I killed a lot of these dudes yesterday on the stream and it didn't work. So I'm not sure if I'm, not, I'm the only one who, who's having this problem, but uh, comment down below if you have the same issue. But it didn't work for me. I killed the Mega Sloth Scorched, I killed the, the Scorched Tick, I definitely killed the, the Scorched Vendigo and this guy. And it, it just didn't work, so... Bethesda! And crafting different types of alcohol, um... I'm gonna well basically I'm not gonna go into where you find all the components what I'm gonna do instead is I'm gonna do uh, one video covering pretty much all of the possible 
unlocked uh, drinking things when I'm gonna have that done I'm gonna start covering the weekly ones in a separate video but at the moment I'll just do which ones are the easiest uh, because I, I feel like it's gonna be way better if I just refer you to a video where it explains in more details where to get all the components so you can easily just go step 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 boop, done and I won't have to repeat myself because this event pops up multiple times time to time so that's pretty much it so I would def I don't do Vault 94 I wait for them to fix the damn thing Oops. <laughs> my bad uh, but yeah, I'm I'm really disappointed with the Vault 94. We went on the stream like uh, to the Vault like three weeks ago. It was horrible. The terminals would glitch for 10 seconds. Uh, freaking those robots teleporting, and it was it was it was laggy. It was bad. Like the worst experience from Hope Fallout 76 I've uh, experienced since beta and I played uh, on beta. So that's pretty much it. Definitely recommend you to do these ones. They're very easy. And by the way, the healing items, right? I didn't cover those. So let's go and take a look at them. So, boom. And I'll tell you what ingredients you should look for and where. That is very easy. All right. so. You need to craft the healing ones. So the tick blood, you need to kill the ticks, right? I'll show you a couple locations where you can find the bot. Uh, those who have been doing the dailies for the pioneer should already know the best locations to find ticks. But just in case, I'll show you. Uh, then, as I said, uh, red eggs diluted is very simple. You just purify water and one red eggs, and that's it. Same goes for diluted uh, right away and diluted stim pack. Bam, bam, bam. Right. With this one, you need to uh, tangle a little more. So what you will need to do is do Radex diluted one, right away diluted two, stim pack diluted three, then you do the black pack four, and once you do the black pack, you will be able to do the glowing uh, the glowing black pack five. That's it, and you're done. <laughs> Alright, but you need to have the glowing blood, or just look up anything else over here. Let me see if there's something easier. Trust me, this is not easy. <laughs> Uh, ding, 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 ding. No, no, no. Yeah, these are the easiest ones. So maybe a little bit of hustle, hustle. But by the way, the glowing packs are being uh, dropped by the ghouls of White Spring, so that should be doable. All right, so that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, you know the drill. Don't forget to leave that like, comment down below. Don't use profanity because I have a block list of words that trigger your comment. Your comment is not visible to other users, only I receive it, I read it, and uh, I delete it. I can't react to it. It's a shame that sometimes I receive a good comment, but with a couple of F-bombs and other words. And I would love to reply, but I just can't because it's on hold and I disapprove those comments. So have that in mind. Uh, one big big thing do not promote third party websites that sell guns caps services for real money that is something i do not support and you will get banned i already declined a, i don't know about eight companies from them they keep following me i say no i don't want your sponsorship and speaking about sponsorship this is a sponsorship free channel meaning no sponsorships whatever whatever company whatever the service is not interested if you go to my youtube channel and go to about me you can see Number one, I state no sponsorships. <laughs> so don't bother contacting me. <laughs> I actually had uh, a legit company, sort of legit company, reaching out, and I said no, sorry. <laughs> anyway, so that's pretty much it. If you enjoyed the show, you know, drill, smash that like. And if you're new and you subscribe, welcome to Z Clan. I'm Gamer Z Saul from Ukraine. So hi from Ukraine. And uh, if you want to help my channel grow, please do consider sharing this video somewhere on the media, such as Facebook or Twitter or any other platform. Join our Discord if you want to play with us. I'm on PC. Uh, we also have some Xbox players and PS4 players. And actually growing pretty fast in Discord. I didn't see that coming, to be honest. Uh, actually, things are going very well. And it's all thanks to you, Clan. So thank you so much. <laughs> Once again. Thanks for all the support. I do do really, really highly appreciate. It. Although currently YouTube is a hobby of mine, but I do aim to make it as a career career later on. Anyway, that's a totally different story. All right, I'm gonna cut it down here. So you have a good one. Bye. <laughs>
<laughs> oh man, my baby, <laughs> my baby's sleeping and I'm laughing like crazy. My wife's gonna jump right now and kill me. What's up, meditation, baby? <laughs> no, no magic. I'm actually flying. <laughs> no wires. 